all and welcome to my channel Fred Makes Things. So today is uh, Wednesday, November what? 9th? 10th? 9th. Uh, I'm filming this a full week in advance. Um, yeah, because this box arrived after I published um, last week's video. So yeah, I am filming then um, for a week later's upload. Um, not ideal, but I guess that's what you get. Anyway, um, welcome to my channel, Fred Makes Things. Uh, if you're new here, um, I do sewing videos every single Wednesday. Um, one video is always Sewers Club unboxing, another video is the project review, and then I sprinkle some more fun things throughout. If you hear noise in the background, that is my second foster cat, Susie, Hazel, um, burrowing into my bookcase. I am not sure why. But anyway, all right, so um, you're not here for any of that. You're here for the unboxing of this video or of this uh, uh, box, I guess. If you are unfamiliar with Sewers Club, Sewers Club is a monthly subscription box where for a certain amount of money up on the screen for you, uh, you get everything you need to complete one sewing project. That includes the fabric, the pattern, um, any kind of fasteners or notions you might need, um, and always the thread, as it's considered a bonus item, but you always get coordinating thread. Um, and then for an additional uh, around $10 a month, you get an add-on notion. Um, these things are usually designed to help you with the project that you're working on, but they are unnecessary to complete the project. They're just kind of like a fun little addition. Um, Sometimes I find them useful, sometimes I don't, but because I am still relatively new to sewing and I do not have an extensive sewing uh, stash of items, um, I find it very useful to get them. Um, I also uh, have this channel and so I want you to be able to see what the uh, add-ons look like as well. So yeah, uh, without any more preamble, um, because I just edited my Sophie and Toffee video that's going up on well, that went up on Monday and I realized I had five minutes of preamble in that. That's crazy. So, um, yeah, let's uh, take a look and see what we have inside of this box. As always, I um, cut it open for you on camera. Then I passed it off to my husband who um, covered up all private information and passwords for the online tutorial. Um, so I, I don't have to worry about that when I look inside of the box. So here we go. He seems to have been a little lazy with the sticking of things on. All right, November. This month, we will be sewing a flying butterfly pillowcase using beautiful prints from pra Patrick Luces? Luces Sanctuary line. In your November box, you will find, ooh, the blue variation um, of this month's project. That's cool. It looks like there's like a blue and a pink variation. I'll have to ask my mother-in-law. She uh, told me earlier today she got her box and I didn't want to know what it was. So um, I'll message her and get a photo of what she has. Um, on the back, you have your bonus items, um right which is like i said always thread and something else and then the add-on notion looks like some sort of magnifier so we'll see that when we get there um let's see so here's the pattern pillowcase yeah see like there's a blue variation and maybe a red variation Oof, it looks like a lot of piecing We'll come back to that at the end. Oh my gosh, my mouse cord is in the way. So yeah, we'll come back to that. Here's our coordinating thread. I have a feeling I might have this color already. Um, what I've been doing is checking my threads to see what they've sent me before and what they haven't. So I will let you know here whether or not I have it. 
but here's the coordinating thread. Here's the compact screwdriver set. Perfect for your sewing machine, a Phillips and a flat screwdriver. You know, this will come in handy for a lot of things. Um, yeah, I have an awesome little screwdriver tool set. Little tool thing, I'll go grab it. I don't have it here, just a sec. Like, I have this thing, has a Phillips head and a flat. I wonder if these are the same size, they look like it. Um, that I usually keep in my little desk organizer. Um, but um, sometimes it's nice to have something like really stubby. So this is really cool. They're really cute, really little. And okay, so the flat is bigger, but it looks like the Phillips is the same size. So cool. My husband's going to really like these too. Knowing him, he's going to try to take them from me. And then here's the magnif. Oh, okay, so it's like a magnifying. Has a light. Oh, that's pretty complicated. So it's a magnifier seam ripper thing. This worries me that they're giving me a seam ripper in a pillow making box. If you remember, I had fun experience with last year's um, pillow cover that we made in September. It still haunts my nightmares. Um, the main project wasn't hard, but the alternative pattern like haunts me. Haunts me, I tell ya. So when I decided that piecework for me is just not something for me, all right, so let's take a look at this fabric. We have these really beautiful butterflies. They call it a blue variation, but it is definitely in like the tealy turquoise family with looks like brown. That's really, really pretty. I like that. Then we have a coordinating stripe with some red and green in it. That is also quite pretty. Uh, then we have this really pretty teal, kind of like Baroque filigree kind of reminiscent pattern. Like, look how pretty that all is. Um, and then we have a, quite a bit of this coordinates, the beige, um, tanny kind of color, which is exactly the same color as the thread. Um, I'm guessing that's because it's like, yeah, it's like the background for all of this. So yeah, that's pretty. We'll put these here, this here, and this here. And now let's take a look at the pattern. So flying butterfly pillowcase. Looks like we've got like some flying geese. I'm learning that as a quilting term. These are flying geese matched with a butterfly so i'm guessing that we're making the butterflies and the geese separately and then sewing them together oh my gosh so much complications so it looks like it's 18 steps and it looks like it's marked out pretty well uh, there, this isn't like a directional fabric but I'm hoping that they will direct us properly on like in the last few months. But yeah, okay, so looks like it's not an overly complicated pattern that ends up looking complicated in the end, which would be kind of cool. Um, I don't have the greatest track record when it comes to um, complicated pillows, but 
we're in a new year. It will be fine. You know, it's not like I have a whole whack load of sewing I planned this month. But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so here's the project. What do you think? We have these four beautiful fabrics in the teal. Our blue variation, I'm really hoping my mother-in-law has the pink variation or red variation or whatever they call it so she can kind of send me a photo. That'd be really cool. Um, so we have that. Then we have this weird magnifying seam ripper. Um, contraption. It's, it's kind of cool. It's kind of neat. Um, then the screwdriver set and the bonus thread. So yeah, um, did you get this project? Did you get the other variation or did you get the same one as me? Are you excited for this? Uh, do you have any suggestions on how I can make the um, piecing of this any easier? I have been watching a lot of quilting videos on Instagram. I have no idea how it happened, but I've gone down some really weird quilting um, rabbit hole. I'm sure that if I had TikTok, it would be like 10 times worse. But yeah, so um, yeah, are you excited for this? Are you not? Let me know in the comments. Also subscribe. Um, I'm doing a 200 subscriber push. I may or may not be there by the time this video airs. Um, as of today, as of recording this at 7.20 p.m. on November 2nd, um, I'm eight away from 200, um, and that's quite exciting. So yeah, subscribe if you like, um, like this video, comment if you like. I'm going to keep this nice and short and sweet as opposed to Mondays, uh, Sophie and Toffee. 25 minute video that was crazy um yeah all right so yeah uh, i'm gonna go thank you so much for watching and i will talk with you again soon bye